I looked into the different options that I had. And for me, it was about getting the flexibility, but it wasn't always about like, it has to be my business. I was always really happy to like join someone else's idea and help scale that and sort of get that to where it needs to be. My kind of journey starts with the hospitality industry. However, with parents whose both of their backgrounds have been like small business owners. So I've kind of seen my parents go through entrepreneurship, try different ventures, et cetera. So I always knew that whether like I might choose a career in hospitality to begin with, I always knew at the end of the day, it was about starting my own business or having kind of a business of my own or being in a position where I have flexibility. As that's one of the things that I really loved about obviously small business ownership and how like you progress through through the years. So I started my career in hospitality. I worked in London in the UK for various years and then started my first business, which was uh, called Social Belly. And that was an Airbnb for food. So a great idea it obviously relates to hospitality as I was able to like bring people who love to cook uh, with people who wanted to meet others. It was great. But then that slowly sort of transitioned to like my sort of main business, which was called Talking Circles, which was a knowledge sharing platform for enterprise companies. So it kind of did go into like how we kind of do need the connections, do need relationships even when we work. So I guess this was before COVID and before the pandemic, but even everybody being in an office, it was sometimes really lonely and you wouldn't even sort of turn around to like speak to your colleague, but you would message them. So I kind of really wanted to create a culture where people should a learn from each other, but also share skills and knowledge. So there's no sort of one specific gap uh, in terms of knowledge or, or one point of failure when it comes to organizational knowledge. I recently sort of transitioned out of that business sort of a couple of years ago and then decided to like leave the UK. I kind of wanted a different place, start from scratch, get a different network, expand sort of my horizons. So I looked into the different options that I had. And for me, it was about getting the flexibility, but it wasn't always about like, it has to be my business. I was always really happy to like join someone else's idea and help scale that and sort of get that to where it needs to be. I decided to move to Canada. I had some investors over here from my previous business, loved the country. So I said, you know what, why not? For a few years, we'll see sort of how it goes. And that's kind of where I met Cato and Brandon, who are the co-founders of Loop Financial. So at that time, um, obviously, Lending Loop was the sort of primary business. It was a term loan business for small businesses all across Canada. And it was actually Canada's first peer-to-peer -peer financial platform. Now, I've seen the success of that business model in the UK with Funding Circle. I've experienced it, so I thought it was great. But what kind of was more remarkable was their kind of ideas of how to take the business forward and how to sort of move next. Now, there was no answers to those questions. So it wasn't like there was a plan written out, but the motivation was there to sort of know, okay, we know that this business in this model specifically might not scale as quickly as we want it to. It's still a great business model but there is more opportunity to sort of expand and create a startup within a startup, bring new products to market, and then figure out how we can further grow as a business. So I came in into the business at the start of January last year. So right before the pandemic. So I met the team for a couple of months. And then obviously after that, it's all been remote, but it's been a really amazing journey. I don't think I've ever been, I guess, A, because of COVID as well, but I've never been in a role where things have changed so much. I've worn so many different hats like from day one to like today, but it's been really exciting. We started off by realizing that e-commerce in general was a great segment. Like we had some existing borrowers in our lending loop to our portfolio that were performing really well. They kept sort of coming back for sort of more loans, for inventory, et cetera. So it was really for us about understanding our customers and trying to see, well, if they are actually coming to us with this problem, then is there a further opportunity to go more niche into our product offering, which is how sort of Loop was kind of built. So I guess long story short, that's a little bit my journey of how I got to where I am right now. Mm -hmm.